adjustments for this new technology, you now have an asset on the wall and the, and the wall wraps around. And it, along with the, the ceiling as well, provide a lot of ambience. And that ambience matches your background. So in traditional, you would have a set and you would be bringing sunlight through windows and you'd be lighting a backdrop outside. You'd be setting your ambience inside, a key light. And now you, you place your actor in the middle and you're actually, the actor is being influenced by the wall itself. And it's a matter of looking, okay, well, where in, within the asset, where's the, where's the key coming from? And then do I have to blend and bring a little bit more of that in? As the cinematographer, your job is to sort of make the set piece that's been built in the foreground merge into the rendered back background that's there. But the big surprise for me was the fact that you do that to a certain point and then the people behind the scenes, they meet you and then they start to blend it because you might have a thing where the, the ground surface that you have is meeting the back screen and we've done all we can to make it look like it belongs there, but you go, it still doesn't match, but they have tools where they can then go in and just tweak that part of it and merge it in. So they had a lot of, they had a lot of tricks up their sleeve. This will absolutely be a necessity from, from a standpoint of it being a director of photography, from being an art director, from being a camera operator, from being a director, from being a writer, that uh, you will need this and you will need to understand this technology, understand your limit, you know, if the, there really aren't a huge amount of limitations, but just understand the process. And then once you understand the process, then you can, then you can make the decisions creatively on which way, on what you can do. You can sustain like Twilight and Magic Hour and sort of, times of day that might only go on for 10 or 15 minutes and then you can stretch them out into as long as you want or days if you have a huge scene to do. It allows you to just to think outside the box, I think a lot more. You're not, you're now, now not held by uh, dimensions and size and an expense of building a massive set. You can actually create that set here. You can now go anywhere. You can be you can be on top of the Empire State Building. You you could be swimming. You could be in a dive bell, um, going around the Titanic at the bottom of the ocean. Like you can you can be you can be on the moon. You can be virtually anywhere. You know, there's the tricks and things you try to get from it that make it sort of more realistic to create the illusion. But as I say, a lot of the really fun stuff is thinking of things that you can do with this that you would not be able to do any other way come in and play with it and check out how the system works and check out the assets and, and embrace it because um, it's only going to get bigger and it's only going to, it will become a part, you, you will need this in your toolkit because you will down the road have to be shooting on a set like this.